Hey guys, this is Dean here from Loud Cloud Vapes, uh, bringing you a quick video on the iSmoka Mini BCC, which is bottom coil clear cardamizer. Uh, these come in a couple different finishes. Uh, we carry them uh, with on black on black. Uh, this unit here we'll be looking at is uh, transparent with a silver base. Um, so I'll just crack the packaging open. There's instructions here on the back on how to set it up, but uh, you don't need those because I'll be showing you here. So just pull it apart here. Uh, so this is the unit. I'll pop it out. So stand it up right over here. Uh, and it actually comes with a couple replacement atomizer heads. So it comes with two replacement atomizer heads and there's actually one already installed in the unit. Um, so I'll show that to you. So filling these up is really simple. Um, they're a lot easier to fill up than some of the other clear atomizers on the market. But uh, you just have to unscrew the base here and you can see there's a large gap along the side here. So you basically just want to pour the juice into the side there. Uh, don't let any juice go into the center because you can actually see right through there. So if any juice goes into the center hole, it's just going to come right out of the top. So once you've actually filled up the clear miser, what you want to do is just put the base right back onto here and spin it on and then uh, it's good to go. Um, so I'll show you how it looks like uh, on, for reference on the Ego C upgrade battery. I'm showing you here on a stainless steel uh, Ego C upgrade by Joytech. Just screw it on there. And this is how it uh, how it looks. It's quite a clean looking e-cig, if you ask me my opinion. Uh, the vape on it is really good. Um, this is just a plastic uh, protective covering right here on the top, so you just want to remove this when you actually vape. Um, but I'll leave it on for now. A lot of people ask, how do you actually change out the atomizer heads on here? Um, some of the clear atomizers, like the Kanger Pro Tank, some of the other ones, you actually unscrew this. Um, but it couldn't be easier with the iSmoke and Mini. You just want to firmly grasp the atomizer head and just give it a pull. Uh, and there you have it. That's, uh, that's all you got to do to pull it out. Uh, replacing it, you just take the new one and you just pop it in there. And you just want to push it in. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I should also mention that the atomizer heads come in a couple different resistances. Uh, one of them is, they actually come in three different resistances. Uh, the first one here is uh, two and a half ohms. Uh, the one inside uh, the clear miser is 2.2 ohms and one of the other replacement is 1.8 ohms. Basically, the lower ohms you have, uh, the more power goes up from the battery uh, into the atomizer and you get more vapor as a result. Um, so when you are buying replacement atomizer heads, just be sure to look out for the different ohms and pick one that, uh, that you're comfortable with. So there you have it. There's the iSmoka Mini BCC clear cardamizer. Um, it's a great unit. It's actually, uh, you might see this under a couple different manufacturer names, but the exact same one. Uh, iSmoka actually makes the vape only one, so it's exactly the same, it's just different branding on there. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, this is the iSmoka Mini BCC Clear Cardamizer again. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email or check us out on our website or Facebook. 